In this short video, we're gonna talk about the hormonal grade. So you've gotten your report, you've seen the TH ratings, and then you've also saw something below that called the hormonal grade of estrogen activity. So let's talk about what we mean by that. First of all, estrogen, or I should say excess estrogen, can be a possible risk factor for breast disease. So it's important to understand what the estrogen levels are in the body, as well as in the breast tissue itself. Thermography doesn't measure estrogen, so the hormonal grade is not a direct measurement. There is no way to do that by the thermogram alone. What we do with the hormonal grade is that we understand that estrogen has a profound effect on the breast circulation. We see this most commonly in pregnancy and lactation, where the breasts go from having a few blood vessels in the upper surfaces to being completely full and engorged. This is a normal physiological process that happens as the breast prepares to make milk in order to feed the nursing baby. When we see these types of patterns occur in women that are not pregnant, they are not breastfeeding, and especially women that are postmenopausal, we have a potential sign that the estrogen balance in the breast tissue may be off. This information can be acted on by holistic practitioners in order to introduce therapies designed to, to balance the estrogen in the body, and we can see the effects on the thermogram itself. So while the hormonal grade is different from the TH ratings, it doesn't signal risk in the same way. Understanding the hormonal grade and being able to act upon it may allow a provider to take an action that will ultimately lower risk. This is the hormonal grade for estrogen activity, very important part of your report, and a great piece of information if you're taking action and trying to take control of your breast health.